Hi, and welcome to My Story Maker. To begin your story, click on the book. Now type in the name of the author. This is the name that you want to appear on the book. I'm going to type in Noodles. Press OK. Now choose your main character. You can choose from any one of these characters to the right. I'm going to choose the cat. Now, what's your main character's goal? So you can choose from any one of these options. I'm going to say want, wants what? So we choose from one of these characters, items, objects, or settings. I'm going to come here to items and scroll. And I'm going to select cheese. Once you have your options, press OK. So, the title becomes The Cat Who Wanted the Cheese by Noodles. If you don't like it, press this button on to your left. If you'd like to start your story, press OK. And to go to the next page, click this arrow key at the bottom right hand of the book. Now, this guy's trying to help you out, but we're helping you out with this video, so we don't need that. Let's just start our story. Here comes the cat. So you can click on him, click and drag, move him around. Let's put him right there. And you can change the settings by coming here to these options. Uh, and I'm going to select this. This is looks like a house. And as long as you clicked on the cat, you get these options here. So you can change the emotions, the action, or make it interact with another character. Uh, so I'm going to change the emotions. And I'm going to Select sad. You can see what happens when I select sad, it changes his emotion and it also starts the story. So once upon a time the cat was sad. And we can maybe go to the next page. So we can introduce another character. Coming up here, maybe we'll select this monkey. Okay. And we can add an item. And the cool thing about these items is the characters will actually carry them. And I'm going to select this cheese. So I'm going to click on the character that I want to hold the item. And I'm going to grab that cheese, drag it over, and now the monkey is holding it. Now we can make him do things with that cheese, with those items, by coming here to action. We gotta click on our monkey, go to action, and we have a lot of options here. We're gonna make him eat that cheese. There he goes, eats the cheese. That becomes part of the story. The monkey ate the cheese and it was delicious. And maybe we can change the cat's emotion because he wanted that cheese. He's a little bit upset. He's mad. The cat was mad. So we click to the next page. And maybe we can bring another piece of cheese in. And we're going to grab that cheese and we're going to give it to that monkey. And we can make them interact by clicking on the monkey. And we're going to tell him to give. So he's going to give the cheese and we choose who we want to give it to. Of course, we choose the cat by clicking on that arrow. He gives the cheese, the story becomes the monkey gave the cheese to cat. Next page. Maybe we can change the cat's emotion because he's happy now that he has cheese. And maybe the monkey is happy too, so we go back to emotion here and click on happy. So the cat was happy, the monkey was happy. And we could end our story there. Or what's better for older kids is they can actually get in here and change the text or add text. So we're going to add, they became great friends. Maybe the friend. Okay, so there's our story. We can preview our story by clicking up here on preview. Okay, so there it is. The next page, the four pages. So we can go back to our story. Once we're ready to finish, we go to end. Now it's going to ask if you want to share your story with others. If you want others to see your story, you can press yes, otherwise say no. And there you go. Your book is published, The Cat Who Wanted the Cheese by Noodles. Thank you for using my story maker.